Great, so we're here with Jocelyn Cripps from the Financial Times, and I've already forgotten your title. <laughs> so I'll ask you to, to, to articulate what your wonderful title is do? at the Financial Times. Okay, so I'm EVP of Global Marketing for the Financial Times. Uh, effectively, what I do is look after content revenues for individual paying customers. So um, I have a team that kind of mimics the life cycle of a customer. So mm -hmm. we look at audits development, uh, acquisition, retention, CRM, and then you know the analytics side of things. So from a campaign optimization perspective, big job, lots of things going lots on. Of things going so on. Um, thank you so much for being yeah. at the Westchester Digital Summit. We're honored to have Financial Times here. Um, what were your impressions? I mean, you've just come off stage, powerhouse panel, lots of compelling things discussed. Well, actually, two things: one pre-panel and one post-panel. So, during the panel, I think you know we were talking a lot about social media and paid versus earned. And do you pay for it? In fact, if you're yeah. a ESP, SPN, never, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that discoverability and the engagingness of content. So I think that's something that, you know, we we do a lot of kind of paying for our media for a sure. return on investment. Um, and it's how we can get more, um, I guess, articles out into um, social media through our uh, editorial teams. Sure. So, you know, bring more traffic in. So I think that's the first point. And then I think Lisa was talking earlier about um, LinkedIn and that they've lowered the age now, um, I don't know if she's in the room, to 13. Yep. And I thought, you know, that was great. I mean, we obviously, we want to uh, start becoming relevant with people as they start going to university, they need to have a global perspective, sure. you know, so maybe we need to start thinking about that kind of education and pushing more content in there. Yeah. So when those become the MBA students of the uh, of future, you know, they've already got, um, you know, some knowledge of what the FT is. I mean, a lot of what we see is the brand visibility. And as we move to digital from print, mm -hmm. what we see is you know there's less discoverability of the product. You know you don't see the pink newspaper anymore. I was going to say, is so, that a difficult thing because you know out in the lobby, you know the FT is lying there and you can spot it from yeah. 20 yards away. I mean yeah. there's there's definitive brand equity Absolutely. in the brand look and feel, the texture of it. Yeah. How does that translate into the online world? Well, we're doing? we're doing a big study into this at the moment. The impact of just not having that paper around as much as you see kind of print yeah. declining you've got not only the, the brand equity the visibility of it being that distinctive pink color but also it being a badge read so you seeing someone reading it a global c-suite audience and you're yeah. aspirational yeah, you have so we have to work yeah. very hard in terms of influence and thinking about how we can monitor those trends and what we can do to actually you know, make up for that. Um, I think it's fascinating. I think it would also be fascinating to learn more from the younger generation, you said 13, 14 year old kids, to see if there's almost a throwback sense where there's kind of joy in picking up yes. the paper and yeah. saying, you know what, I'm putting that tablet mm. down and I'm gonna read the paper and, yeah. and really get some concrete financial yeah. insights yeah. here. It's interesting, some research we've done with uh, MBA students at Harvard, actually. Um, so, obviously, highly digital in terms of wanting to be able to curate the content, mm -hmm. being able to access it, get, get, um, get briefings on it. But a lot of them, when they're on their downtime, if they're going on a coach home, for example, they're actually reverting back to print. So, for a longer read. Yeah. So, you know, there is still very much um, clearly a role for print but it's finding that time of day or that relevance to when right. you kind of push it. And of course we have a, a thriving and profitable print um, readership still. So we're not going away from it, but we obviously need to think about you know, people's habits and when is the best time to be reading on which platform. Sure, absolutely fascinating. I feel like you're straddling both worlds yeah. really beautifully and still have that sense of brand equity in the offline world yeah. while continuing to grow in the okay. online world. Well, it's a constant sort of challenge, so uh, yeah. yeah, something we pay a lot of attention to. Well, absolutely fascinating. Loved having you today at the yeah. Westchester Digital Summit. Thank you so much, and it's we okay. hope that you come Thank back Thank you very soon. much indeed. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>